Google's open source new MCP toolbox previously let you connect your all these cloud databases, namely BigQuery, AlloDB, Postgres stuff, all the way to your AI agents or having a natural language interface of chatting with through your AI agents to all these databases without you coding anything. Now they added a new feature which let you connect this MCP toolbox to your coding IDE, let's say VS Code, Cursor, and Windsurf. That means when you develop codes by these ID is like, let's say, co-pilot in VS Code, you can at the same time chat with your databases to do wipe coding with a co-pilot or, or WinServe or Cursor that fully understand the context of your cloud-based databases, namely on GCP. So let me show you how we can use it and what's the main value for your own projects. Previously, I created a video about open source MCP toolbox, which is again released by Google that let you connect mainly GCP based cloud databases to your AI agents. So you can interact with those databases without you caring about authentication, coding that and figuring out how to connect these structured databases to your agents. So I add the link of that video to the video description below. Check that out. It's a really impressive and impactful solution. But recently, which a couple of days ago, they announced a new feature of that, which let you actually connect this MCP toolbox to your favorite IDE that you can now, when you code, let's say in VS Code in your applications or use Copilot there, at the same time, this MCP is seated there, the copilot understand the context of your databases and tables to interact with them. So to show you more quickly, here's actually a documentation released by them that you can now connect to your favorite IDE to chat with LODB, BigQuery, CloudSQL for Postgres, SQL Server, and lastly, Spanner. So let's say with a start, starting with BigQuery, I want to actually use VS Code Copilot or Cloud Desktop as my IDE to chat with these databases. What you need to do, here are main list of main IDEs that are supported as of now. But first, you need to make sure you have obviously GCP and you have BigQuery, you have your API setup. And as soon as you have this in place, you just need to download this MCP toolbox based on if you're in Linux, I'm running Mac or Windows, and then make this actually executable and then make sure you have the correct version of this MCP toolbox downloaded. To show you how I did, I already ran the first two lines, so I just wanna uh, make sure that it is still there. There you go. So I have successfully installed with running these two and I'm ready to go. First, I wanna start with Cloud Desktop. The only thing that I need to do is adding this to the Cloud Desktop configs and then I will show you how I use Copilot in VS Code to chat with my databases and develop codes with that context in place. So I already have Cloud Desktop installed in my machine. Let me show you. And I want to go to the actual setting of my cloud to show you how I add these configurations of this MCP after downloading the toolbox that I ran in my terminal. And by the way, make sure in terminal, you authenticate you to your GCP with running G Cloud GC. Cloud authentication login. So we're just running this. It will prompt a new window for you. Then it will authenticate your GCP. Make sure you do it before you jump into the cloud or VS Code to add it to your own IDE. So I, I already done this. Now you go to the developer settings of your cloud desktop. We clicking on edit config. It will actually open up the config file that you can add your MCP server. There you go, I just paste it out. So first, the very first thing you need to change because I'm connecting to BigQuery, BigQuery has been added. You can add other databases as was sorted out in the MCP Toolbox website. Then you need to also make sure you add the path of the toolbox you downloaded using that command line that I showed you. So this is the local path for me. And then this is fixed. Lastly, you need to add the project name on GCP that you have to your database. Let's say here, BigQuery added here. This is pretty much all you need. With adding that in place, next time when you launch Cloud, Cloud will actually run it as a local MCP server to use it to connect to this big query so you can potentially chat with your database. So I already add that, so I need to just save my config file and I will relaunch my Cloud desktop again. All right, here I just open Cloud again after editing that MCP config JSON file. And as you can see, if I click on this bar, I have now BigQuery added as a tool that uses that local MCP toolbox to connect to my BigQuery. And under that, I have all these functionalities. I can list the tables, I can execute SQL codes with natural language and some other functionalities. I want to enable all of that. And let's say starting very simple, give me list of 
tables that I have in my BigQuery. All right, so here I'm using Claude as a language model choice because I'm using Claude this but obviously you can use any other language models, not just Claude here. So it is starting running, actually listing the name of the tables that I have and the first one captured correctly. I do have this actually in my BigQuery, I will show you. The second one is Demo Lake. I have that actually database as well in my BigQuery. Yes, I do have this FOM and for casting stickers cells. This is the data set that I have that underneath has two tables, train and test, because previously I was training a forecasting model and I was using that for testing that, which captured that all correctly and telling that also the last one has train and test. Worked perfectly. Now I want to actually do the same thing in Copilot of VS Code to give you another example. All right, here's my VS Code. You can see I have already launched Copilot. And before I'm going to make sure that this Copilot also can talk to the same MCP toolbox to connect to BigQuery, you need to first do one thing. Make sure you have .VS Code folder created. If not, create that. And underneath, which is the path of your project, the root path of your project, make sure you add this mcp.json, which is the same MCP you added, the JSON file for the cloud desktop that has information about where is that toolbox, which is here. That's why I had my local path. This is already executable. And then the project ID or number of my BigQuery table that I have there. So I have this already installed. And there you go. When I click on these tools here, it is telling me that it can also run the same stuff that Cloud could do because it's using the same MCP. So I want to give it a try to ask and make sure you are in the agentic actually mode of Copilot. Ask that give me a list of tables. So, so the same question. I just want to see if it can sort of use, there you go. So it gave me the list of same tables that I have in BigQuery. Now I want to make it a little bit more complex. I want to add, uh, ask this to create a machine learning model on BigQuery ML to do some forecasting. So let's say I want to add create forecasting model in BigQuery to forecast uh, product sales using train table that I have under the last of number four data set, which is forecasting sticker cells. Let's see how it moves forward. So it's telling me that I want to actually get to know some more information about this data set. Shall I run this command? I say yes, continue. So it's telling me some information. Hey, oh, I know you have the train and test underneath. Are you okay if I move forward? I say, yeah, continue. So it's now getting some information about the table. So it knows that I have the product name, the date and the stuff. So now it's telling me that, okay, the table has this amount of rows. I want to train a forecasting model. Go ahead. And here's a SQL query that is going to create that forecasting model. So I want to click on continue. Now it should start training that forecasting model in BigQuery. So let's pause for a second. When it is done, I want to confirm that in my actual BigQuery and GCP, the model is trained. There you go. It just printed for me that the forecasting model has been successfully created using Arima Plus, which is one of the machine learning models that comes with BigQuery. So let's confirm that going to BigQuery, my project. So let me get into the BigQuery and you can see that I have this list of tables is forecasting sticker. I have train and test. I use train table to create this model. And then under models, this one should be the last model that I have. Let me actually close all of them. There you go. So June 7, this is actually the date of today that I created this model for do forecasting based on the table that I provided. And if I query model, obviously I will be able to use this sales forecasting model. All right. That was a quick overview of what is the main new capability of this open source MCP toolbox by Google that led you now connect your IDE that you do vibe coding, namely Copilot that let Copilot understand more about what's your table, what's your database. So when you do web coding, when you develop your application or softwares, you don't need to run SQL queries or bring those information for Copilot because now Copilot can query your databases and tables to understand much more about your application and databases and let you do much more precise web coding. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, I would be very thankful if you click on like icon and make sure you share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below and subscribe so you won't miss the next video. Thank you.